As Mark Standifer drives toward the 13,800 volt switch gear, his mind is thinking ahead to Friday, looking forward to starting a new job with regular hours. He wasn't really happy with having odd hours to work and having them call him at midnight, you know, to go out and emerge a new job and things like that. And so he was looking forward to moving to this uh, new job. Back at the job site, Mark opens the first high voltage switch. He needs to open the door of the cabinet so he can mount the relays. Proper procedure calls for visual inspection of the switch blades to ensure they've opened properly. But Mark is interrupted by the appearance of the general contractor, Dale Jennings. Where does the rest of your sorry crew at? I don't expect this to take all day. Look, my crew has already worked 60 hours this week. I can mount these relays myself. Well, then I expect you to be finished with this by 2 o'clock today. We've got to flip the switch on the control station then. Well, you're just slowing me down, so unless you want to drill some mounting holes in these doors... Listen, I'm not here to do your job. That's what I pay you to do. Now, I'll be back here in about an hour. Now, I expect you to be almost finished. You understand me? I uh, saw the contractor pull up, and I turned around to go talk to him. And I was, uh, of course, upset uh, with him, and he was upset with, uh, with me. And I missed my very next step of... Uh, electrical safe work practices, which was to do a visual inspection to make sure all three blades for all three phases, in fact, did open and not rely just on the interlock on the door. Uh, I failed to do that. Had Mark remembered to perform the visual inspection of the switch, he would have discovered that one blade of the three-phase switch had failed to open. Mark then makes another critical error. The next step was to uh, verify that the switch had opened by using my high voltage tick tracer, uh, by opening the door and then checking to see if any, anything was energized. Uh, Friday prior to the accident, my tick tracer was broken and I didn't have a replacement with me. Uh, so therefore I was assuming that the switch had done its job and opened the circuit, which is a, a very bad mistake.